Hi Home Video Makers! The Section Effect, as defined in the manual for Magic's Movie Studio 2024, may be used to display only a part of the photo or video. To be more precise, this is the cropping tool. The four images or videos playing on the screen were all cropped using the Section Effect and positioned using the Size Position Rotation Effect. To better understand some of what I'll be doing, you should have watched my tutorials on size position rotation effects or at least be familiar with how they work because you'll want to use these effects to position your cropped images or video. I'm using Magic's Movie Studio 2024 Platinum but everything applies as well to Movie Studio 2025 and Video Pro X16 as well as to older versions. You're probably familiar with cropping of photos in photo editing software. In this image, I'm using PaintShop Pro and I'll crop the photo using the same aspect ratio as the photo, 16 by 9. The result will be a photo that no longer contains the cropped out parts. This is the actual definition of cropping, the removal of unwanted outer areas from a photo, image, or a video. I'll go to Movie Studio. I have the original image on the timeline and I'll import the cropped image. Both images fill the screen. I'll select the cropped image and go to Size, Position, Rotation Effect, Apply Effect. I'll zoom out by dragging one of the handles inwards and we see black around the image. We don't see the part that was cropped off. I'll select the uncropped image, go to the Size, Position, Rotation Effect, Apply Effect, and zoom in to get about the same image as the cropped image. Now, technically, you could say that you've cropped out the area outside of the dog, but it is not cropping in the sense that it is used in Movie Studio with a section effect. That is just zooming within the limits of the preview window. As you saw, when I zoomed out the cropped image, there was only black around the image. If I now zoom back out the zoomed in image, that is, the uncropped image, I get the full area back. Thus, zooming in did not crop out the unwanted area. It's still there. I want to be able to zoom out and see just the cropped dog part, not the area outside of that. This is where the section effect needs to be used. Basically, it does the same thing as I did using PaintShop Pro. That is, everything outside of the selected part of an image or video clip is removed, and you no longer have access to it. Of course, being a non-destructive editor, you can always redo the effect differently. But while it is activated, the selected area is all that you can play with. My project is set up for full HD, that is, a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which gives an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. On the timeline, I have a video clip that is 1920 by 1080, an image with a higher resolution, and two video clips, one that was filmed in portrait mode, 1080 wide by 1920 high, and the second in landscape mode, but filmed at 4K, or 3840 wide by 2160 high. I'll select the first video clip, go to Effects, View, Animation, Section, and we have the interface. At the upper right is a hamburger menu, and opening this we see load effects, save effects, etc. These are standard in all effects. Next to that is an X button that resets the current settings for this dialog or effect and deletes its history. Again, this X button is standard for all effects for resetting just the current effect. In previous versions, this was a drop-down, a down-pointing triangle or arrowhead for the menu. The double left-right pointing triangles, or arrowheads, was the reset button. Just below is a button that says Preview. This means that we're in Edit Mode. Clicking on Preview will change to Preview Mode, and the button will then indicate Edit to get back to the Edit Mode. This is important because you don't want to be trying to edit in Preview Mode. Next are values in Pixels or Percentage. Change to percent if you want to use the size and position boxes, as it's faster. Look at the preview monitor. There's a dashed line around the edge of the window with handles in the corners and midpoints of the sides. The rectangle will show the part that we want to keep, 
and what is outside of it will be removed. Right now, it's full screen. Back in the section dialog, besides size, are the width and height boxes. Watch as I switch from pixels to percent, and back. This image is the same as my project resolution, 1920 pixels wide by 1080 high, which gives an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and fills the screen. The values that show here are for the selection rectangle and they're based on the actual resolution of the image. We'll see something different later. There's a drop down that says like movie and a button that says movie size. We'll come back to these later. There's a checkbox beside full screen that is checked by default. This button can be a little bit finicky. At the bottom is position with left and top position boxes. Unlike the new size position rotation effects, the anchor point or origin is at the upper left of the preview window with positive values to the right and downwards. Thus, the values are both zero. I'll drag a corner handle of the rectangle and make it smaller. The values change. As the cursor moves into the rectangle, it changes to double arrows, meaning that I can drag the rectangle. I'll drag the box over the dog. Now the left and top position boxes show the new location of the upper left corner of the rectangle. To see the result, click on Preview. Now we see just the area that was in the rectangle. Back to Edit Mode. I'll click on the Movie Size button and my selection rectangle goes to 1920 by 1080. Nothing astounding, but we'll see a difference here when we look at the other objects later on. Well, I lost my rectangle on the dog, so I'll do it again. For this case, I want the dog to be in the rectangle throughout, so I'll place the rectangle back over the dog and scrub along the timeline. If the dog moves out of the rectangle, I'll adjust the rectangle so that the dog is always visible inside it, unless the dog was off the screen. In this case, my dog performed well and stayed pretty much in the same place. To see the result, first uncheck full screen if it's checked, then click on preview. Now we see just the area that was in the rectangle and at its original location. I'll check full screen. We're already in preview mode. Now we see the cropped image full screen. I'll switch to size, position, rotation, apply effect, and we see the bounding box for the image, full screen. I'll zoom out of the preview monitor to 50%. We see that the cropped image fills the preview monitor and there's nothing cut off. That would not be the case if we had just zoomed in. There is no way to see the parts that were cropped off because we're now working with a cropped image, or in this case, a cropped video. I'll set the preview monitor back to 100%. I can apply the size position rotation tools to this image. For now, I'll just zoom out a bit by dragging a corner handle inwards. And I can drag this image anywhere I want. Great, that one was easy and you should have a good understanding of the basics. Let's look at some other things you'll encounter, starting with images and videos of different resolutions and aspect ratios. I'll move on to the next image, select it, and go to the section effect. This is a photo, so I'm not worried about the dog moving out of the frame. This image is 3264 pixels wide by 1836 high, and we see these values in the width and height boxes because the cropping rectangle is at the boundaries of the image. The aspect ratio is also 16 to 9, so the image fills the screen. Remember, my project, or rather the movie, has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. If I click on the Movie Size button, the values change to 1920 by 1080 and the rectangle decreases in size. Remember before when the last image we looked at had the same resolution as the movie? Nothing happened when I pressed the Movie Size button. This time, it does. Let's look at the drop-down. This uses aspect ratio and has nine choices. Before looking at these, note that the default was like movie. If I select like source, it just pops back to like movie. This is because the aspect ratio of the source and the movie are the same, 16 to nine. I'll drag the upper left handle downwards and to the right 
and the rectangle decreases in size. I'll drag it over the dog and adjust a middle handle to get the dog completely in the image. Note that the mid side handles make the entire rectangle larger or smaller, thus maintaining the proportions. With full screen checked, I'll click on the preview button to view the result. Back to edit mode, I'll uncheck full screen, click on preview, and we have the cropped image at the same location. The surrounding area is gone. Nothing new here. I'll switch to the size position rotation effect. We see the bounding box with handles on the small image and the actual size and position using the movie values. I can drag the image around, resize it, rotate it, but I never get back the part that has been cut off. I'll remove the size position rotation effect and go back to section. We still see the crop box ready to be edited. Under the drop down, I'll select Free Proportions. I'll make the box close to a square over the dog and with full screen unchecked, press on Preview. Now we have the dog in a square. That is our new image. Making it full screen, we see black bars on each side, as expected. I'll go to the Size Position Rotation effect and apply it. Once again, I can use all of the effects on this image, but I never get back whatever is outside of the image. I'll select the next video clip that was shot in portrait mode. The default is now Like Source, and you can see that the selection rectangle is around the boundary of the video. The size of the image is 1080 wide by 1920 high, so the rectangle defines the boundaries of the image, which is not like the movie. If I open the drop down and select Like Movie, the rectangle changes to be the same aspect ratio as the movie or project. Note that the size of the rectangle is now 1080 by 608, which follows the aspect ratio of the movie. I can't move the rectangle outside of the image. You can't include areas outside of the image with the area to be cropped. Switch to Preview, and we see the cropped image full screen. This is one way to get full width of a portrait mode video, but not the only way. You could use Size Position Rotation and change the width to the width of your movie settings, or in my case, 1920. The top and bottom will be cropped, and you can adjust this by adjusting the vertical location, and you can keyframe this. Back to section and movie size. You can, of course, make the rectangle smaller to crop just a part of this image. Uncheck Full Screen, Preview if you want, then go to the Size Position Rotation effect. Note here that the size position rotation effect is already applied if full screen was unchecked. You can move this image around and resize it. However, keep in mind that if you're going to make the result larger or full screen, you will be losing resolution. I'll remove the size position rotation effect, go back to the section effect and to edit mode. Opening the drop down, we see several other options. If I select 16-9 portrait, which really means 916, the rectangle changes shape and goes full height. I'll drag a corner handle and the rectangle gets smaller, but maintains the 916 aspect ratio or portrait mode. With full screen unchecked and pressing on preview, we see a vertical image with the 916 aspect ratio. Going to full screen, the cropped image fills the screen from top to bottom with black bars on each side, exactly like the video that was shot in portrait mode, but with part of the original image cropped off. Let's go to the last video clip. This was filmed in 4K, and I'm in a full HD project, or half of 4K. Before going to section, I want to show you the difference with cropped and uncropped. Click on Size Position Rotation Effect, Apply Effect, and we can see the handles around the entire image. If I zoom in by changing the percent on the width to 200, we no longer see the handles around the image. This image has been zoomed in, not cropped. I'll go to the Preview Monitor menu, make it 50%. We now see the handles around the entire image. The part that is outside of the viewing area is still available for use. 
You can see this as I move the image around. I'll go back to full screen monitor and remove the size position rotation effect. With the video selected, I'll go to the section effect. Note that the rectangle is around the entire image and the size is 3840 wide by 2160 high. Click on movie size and the rectangle gets smaller and the size of the rectangle shows that it's 1920 wide by 1080 high, the same size as the movie. If I use this size or larger and go to full screen, I won't be losing any resolution. I'll move the rectangle over the boat and, with full screen checked, click on preview. The rectangular area is full screen and you can't tell that what is outside of what you see has been cropped off. Uncheck full screen and you see the same rectangle but at its original size and location with the surrounding area cropped off. Check full screen again, switch to the size position rotation effect, apply effect, and we see the handles around this cropped image, not the uncropped image. I'll change the preview monitor size to 50%. Notice the difference with what we had before? The part that was cropped is no longer available. The handles are at the edge of the cropped image. There's nothing hidden outside like there was with zooming. Of course, I can now zoom in or out on this image, but I never get back the cropped off parts. I hope that it's now clear to you the difference between zooming and cropping. I'll set the monitor back to 100%, remove the size position rotation effect, and go back to section. Let's go through the various aspect ratios so you can see the crop box change proportions. I'll start with 3 to landscape, 3 to portrait, which really means 2-3, but the word portrait ties it down, 4-3 landscape, and 4-3 portrait, or rather 3-4. We saw the other cases. For each case, you can change the size of the crop box, but the proportions remain as selected. For the case of free proportions, if you want a square image, make the width and height the same value in pixels. Back to 16-9. Scrubbing along the timeline, we can see that the action or the area of interest remains in a narrow horizontal band. Using section on the boat isn't a good idea if we want to zoom in on the boat because the boat will go out of view of the cropped part. In that case, it would be best to use size position rotation effect and keyframing to follow the boat. So, what interesting thing using the section effect could we do with this ferry boat crossing the river? I'll switch to free proportions. Instead of putting the rectangle just over the boat, I'll keep it full width and drag the bottom middle handle upwards, then the top middle handle downwards. Preview this. Now when I scrub along the timeline, we see the interesting part in the rectangle from start to finish. Let's add in a background. I'll move the video down to track 2 and insert a background which I've already prepared on the timeline. I've prepared a title and I'll drag this over. My boat video is a bit too low on the screen for what I want to do, so I'll go to the size position rotation effect, apply effect, and move the image upwards, not left or right or the image will move off of the screen. I've already prepared more video clips that I'll drag to be below the boat video. Each of these has been cropped using section and positioned using the size position rotation effect. Let's see how it looks. All it needs now is some music and sound effects. We've now seen how to create cropped images and video clips and some ideas as to how to use them. One last point, the section effect has nothing to do with the section that you take when using camera zoom shot effect. In that case, the section is just a box allowing you to zoom in and out. No real cropping. Watch for my tutorial on the camera zoom shot effect if it's not already out. Thank you for watching. Till next time, make movies.